Welcome back, mofos. This is No Stupid Questions with Eddie the Wine Guy and Tim from CX. What's our question for this week, Tim? Well, it comes from uh, Sam Mitchie, who would love a punter's rundown on malolactic fermentation and what that means. And I would also like to know what it means. It is a fascinating topic, malolactic fermentation, or mallow for short. Yep. You like that one? I do, I enjoy it very much. <laughs> and so we've got uh, a couple of Shardies here. One uh, is the fantastic Julian Charles from South Africa. And we also have a lovely cheeky Chardonnay from Mornington Peninsula, the Red Hill Estate. One has malolactic fermentation, one does not. Okay. Hopefully you'll be able to pick which one by the end of this episode. I think the best thing to do first would be to jump into this apple All here, right. just head first, have a bite, mm -hmm. and then we'll talk about malolactic fermentation. Mmm, uh, Grand Smith apple. Mmm, mmm. Not your apple? <laughs> <laughs> but my preferred apple. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of uh, fruit flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the reason that we're trying a green apple here is that is full of malic acid. And the yogurt here is full of lactic acid. So we've got the change of malic to lactic acid is malolactic fermentation. Now try your yogurt. I believe lactic acid's the one that makes runners go all floppy. Yeah. Like marathon. That's it. So. You don't like that? I like the green, the, the, um, the yogurt a lot better than the green apple. Nah. It's delicious, little bit of breakfast. Do you notice the difference in mouthfeel? We talked yes. about weight the other week. You see the, the feeling from very tart, sharp flavors to creamier flavors, buttery flavors as well. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're gonna try and see in the wine. So let's try the old Julian Charles, South African producer, fantastic wines. Do you like that one? Mm. All right, so hold that flavors in your mouth. The Mornington one. The Mornington, all right. Hopefully we can see a difference. I don't want to say that I've been learning things in the yeah. last few weeks, but I reckon I can actually tell a difference. All right, now I've forgotten which one's which. That was the Julian Shah, wasn't it? Yeah, that's correct. That one's like the apple, and that yep. one's like the old uh, Greek, Greek yogurt. He's nailed it. Man. Well done. Jesus, I can retire. Just to summarize, mofos, malolactic fermentation is the process by when you have high levels of malic acid, like the one found in green apples, get eaten up by bacteria and converted into lactic acid, which is found in yogurt and butter and that kind of thing. And that changes the flavor profile of the wine. So in the Julian Charles, which had no malolactic fermentation, you get more of that green apple crispness, higher acid, whereas in the Red Hill Estate, you got more of that creamy, buttery flavor. So next time you're at a wine tasting, you taste that buttery flavor, you can be like, has this wine got some malolactic fermentation? Mm. And seem like a real smart ass. Yeah. You're gonna give that a go, Tim? Well, I'll do anything to make myself more of a smart ass. <laughs> Thank you for that question. Please keep sending them in. You've got all the links below, and that's No Stupid Questions with Tim and Eddie out. <laughs>